Well, hello there. I come to you having just completed my very first day of school with people in my room on my 20th year of teaching. You guys, I've been teaching for 20 years. Like, I should be way better at this by now, but some people never learn. Um, I thought I'd walk you through how I do my first day. Now, keep in mind that I have my kindergarten through second grade kiddos for um, 30 minutes. So I'm just gonna share with you what I do in that 30 minute amount of time. And then I'll share with you what I did with my third graders today because I had them for an hour. So I've got my beautiful clipboard here. Isn't this amazing? It's by at hipster art teacher on Instagram. Love this, thank you so much. So on the other side, you will see my sad looking notes. I keep a little file. It has one sheet of paper in it and that sheet of paper says at the top first day of art. I've been using this same sheet of paper forever and it's basically like a security blanket because once I read through it I'm like oh yeah I know what I'm doing but I have to have it on my desk the whole time because you know security blanket. So what I did today was I dressed in a paint palette costume here. Let me show you. Yeah, so that's what I decided to wear today. It was purchased from Amazon. It's a kid's costume, if you couldn't tell, based on the size. It's also really, like, horribly made. <laughs> the paintbrush was seriously so floppy and inappropriate looking that I had to cut a little slit in the back of it and stick a dowel rod inside of it. But now it's, like, my favorite thing ever to be, like, bopping the kids on the heads with. Would never do that. Totally did it. Um, so I greeted my students in the hallway today just to remind them how we are to stand on a line. I, um, for my PE teacher buddies, borrowed a bit of floor tape and have taped a nice long strip of a line with, so it looks like a letter T so they know where to stand on the line and where to stop. And I will share with you actually the video that I've created that I show my kids to kind of give you an idea of what the outside of my room looks like and how I expect them to be standing quietly. And I just reminded them of that. Of course, it's their first day of art and their teacher's standing out there with them. So of course, they're going to be standing quietly. This will be the one time of year that they're actually standing quietly. Um, so a good little review and reminder was what I did. And then I, look at me, I'm looking at my cheat sheet. I reminded them about getting a drink of water. I unfortunately have a drinking fountain right outside of my room. And if they're coming from PE, there's a good chance they might want some water. So I have to let them know what the routine is for that. Now again, 30 minute art classes means I don't have time for 20 plus friends to grab a drink of water before coming in. I mean, that would really chip away at my time. So I don't really stress them getting a drink of water. I just kind of say, hey, if you're going to get one, here's the routine for that. I have a student hold the door open and as they're coming in, I teach them our greeting, which is me saying, hello, my most amazing artist. And they are to say, hello, my most amazing art teacher. It was interesting to hear my first graders attempt that today because my other grades have been doing it for so long. They nailed it. My first graders are like, hi, amazing teacher, art person. So we're gonna work on that. Once I have them in the room, we all sit in nice rows on the floor and then we can get started. So usually once everybody's seated on the floor, I just kind of go over with them what's right behind me because that's our routine when we walk in. We always have a word of the day or in their case, a week because I see some of them once a week, some of them twice. And then I really wanted to stress our um, mantra for this month because we're doing growth mindsets in here. So whenever they heard the words art class, they were to do this, whoop, whoop. So if I said art class, whoop, whoop. They said art class, whoop, whoop. They already knew what to do. And then we just did a call and response, which is where I clear my throat. <clears throat> they clear their throat. And we went over our class mantra. Now, I didn't talk to them today about growth mindsets because we've got all year. But I did want to kind of instill this in them. So from there... We then went over names. So I have my little handy dandy list of everybody's name right here in my folder. By the way, um, I have made one of these for every day of the week because my schedule every Monday is the same, every Tuesday is the same. So this is my actually my Tuesday schedule and they're color coded with my class lists inside. 
and um, also has my seating chart written next to my class list, which really helps if I'm going to be out with the sub. So once the kids are seated on the floor, I call them by name. I'll say, hello, Peyton. And they are to say, hello, Mrs. Stevens. So at some point, everybody is going to hear me call their name. They're going to say my name. And that really helps me learn their names and help for them to remember my name. After I say their name, I tell them I have one question for them for my little stack of questions, which says things like, do you know how to swim? If so, can you swim in the deep end by yourself? What is your least favorite vegetable? Would you eat it if it were covered in chocolate? When is your birthday? What's your favorite kind of birthday cake? So just really fast questions that I can kind of go through to get each student talking and just getting to know each other a little bit better. Once that's finished, they've been sitting on the floor for a moment. So we get up, we do a little stretch, we do a little dance routine, we sit back down, and that's when I play my um, back to school art room video, which I will definitely share in my blog post, but you can totally find it on my YouTube channel. In the video, I recruited some teacher friends from school to kind of show the kids the right way to behave in my room and then the wrong way. And they love it, they pay such close attention because they love to see their teachers cutting up and be silly. When that's finished, we, remember 30 minutes, it's gonna go by in a blink, I give them their assigned seats. And yes, I have assigned seats because I know my students. If I didn't know my students, I always seat them boy, girl, um, boy, girl. And I like to have it that way as much as I can. Um, and the reason I like to um, do assigned seats is because I, like I said, I know my people. I like to have friends who would be good peer models sitting next to friends who might need a good peer model. And so I, I just, it works for me. I don't know why I'm being so long-winded about it. It just does. Once we all get our assigned seat to help them retain where they sit, and by the way, my tables are color-coded. Currently, they're covered with paper which are with a number in each spot. So there's like red table number one, red table number two, red table number three. You get the idea. So once they're all in their seat, we do a little memory game to help them remember where they sit. If you sit at the red table, please bark like a dog. If you sit at the orange table, please meow like a cat. If you sit at the yellow table, please moo like a cow. Once we've gone through all the colors, then I'll say if you're number one, touch your nose. If you're number two, touch your toes. If you're number three, um, stick out your tongue. If you're number four, scratch your head. Just something little silly and quick to hopefully help them remember where they sit. Now, my kids who come on Monday and then don't come again on Friday who are in first grade, I'm thinking that about 25% are not going to remember where they sit. And that's fine. That's why I've got this. Once we've gone through all that, I talk to them about drills. We talk about a fire drill and a severe weather drill. For a fire drill, we talk about lining up at the exit door. Severe weather drill, we go ahead and line up at my door. Usually at this time, 30 minutes is up. Um, if it's not, we will play a round of The Smartest Artist, which you can also find here. I think there's a link on my YouTube channel about that. I will definitely add it to my blog post if you wanna know more. For my hour-long students, we still go through all of that. Once we have talked about fire drill and severe weather drill, they come back to the floor and I start talking to them about our very first art project for the school year. So that I will share in a separate video and in a blog post coming like right after this one so you can kind of see what the kids will be up to. Now I know what you're thinking, Stevens, you didn't cover rules, you didn't cover this, that, and the other. Y'all, I feel like the kids are getting so much rules and information at this point that I do like to kind of ease them into it. So on my cheat sheet, I also have day two. And on day two, I talk about covering the rules. We talk about um, the other safety drills and procedures we have to do. We can start to ease a little bit, tiny, tiny bit into growth mindset. But again, that's something that I like to really bring over the course of several days. And we definitely start diving into that very first art project. I feel like I just talked 90 miles an hour and I'm so sorry if I did, but I hope that helps you. I know that you all, we all have like a different way of how we run our first days of art. 
for me, it's mostly just about sitting and chatting with the kids and just being happy to be in the same room with them and getting them excited about art. Um, anyway, thank you so much for letting me share. Stay tuned on my blog or hop over because there's right now so many videos and things that I do on those very first days of school, if you're interested. Thank you guys for letting me share.